there's your problem. Today, I know I need a mask. I will get one, I promise you. I just wanted to test this out really quick, but believe me, <coughs> I know I need a mask. Anyway, take a look at these cabinets. Tell me what you think. So, it's kind of hard to see. I know what the light coming through the window there, but they're sanded it off really nicely. And basically, what I have found from listening to y'all. Uh, is that the majority of you want these to be painted and the more I look at them the more I agree with you so we're gonna paint them white give it a bright bright finish and uh, hopefully that'll make this room pop a little bit make it a little bit lighter in here the thing that frustrates me about doing stuff like this is that I find stuff like this I didn't realize that this was peeling you know, it's just always stuff like that. You're like, oh, you find stuff after the fact. But anyway, I think it's going to look pretty good once we paint them white. So that is going to be the plan moving forward. But let me show you something else here. Okay, so you know the railing looks like this. It was painted by previous people. Uh, this is a paint, and uh, it is not a glossy paint, or maybe it was. And then I started putting the gray paint there over it, and that gray paint is a dead flat. And of course your hand would grip as it went down, so I wasn't liking that. So I thought, you know what, I wonder just how deep it is. How deep is your love? Anyway, uh, so I took a putty knife, or a, a utility knife actually with a long blade, and scraped it a little bit. Then I took a piece of sandpaper just by hand and I hit it. And the hotter that the surface got from the friction, the easier this paint literally peeled off. So I came back today with that same sander I was just using and cleaned it up. And my thought is maybe I can get either the wood down to, let me get on this side where you can see it better. Like right, where is my, there we go. So right where my finger is, right underneath this groove, you see it kind of curves in here a little bit. So maybe right here, or maybe we can get this whole thing up to this little point here, back again to wood, and then maybe we can paint these strips. I don't know, I'm gonna take the heat gun to it I've got here. So I'm gonna heat this area up right here with a heat gun. I might even try the top of this block here, and we're gonna see what's the reaction from the heat, and does it come up or not. So let's try it. As you can see, it really makes it turn into pretty much just putty when you heat it up like that, which is pretty good. And I know I would rather see a wood handrail than a painted handrail any day. So yeah, now I just got to figure out if I can get a contour gauge to work on the side here, but I'm going to try this with a putty knife as well right here. All right, so check this out. I just was just testing this. Hope you can see this okay. It's starting to cool off now. But, you see this? It just peels right away. So... Look at that. Check that out. Now 
That is incredible. See, that's where it's still cool. So, definitely can bring this thing back, at least the handrail, which is all I really want to do. I'm, I'm going to paint this, all the rails and everything else, but I just want to bring this handrail back so it's, it feels good to the touch. So anyway, we'll keep working on this. How are you doing out there, Shaniacs? I hope you are doing well today. It is Friday afternoon. I worked late into last night uh, and my phone died so I couldn't film what work we got done, but let me show you here real quick. So I think it's turning out pretty good. You can see the oak green on there, nice and smooth. Uh, anyway, we've got it, uh, this side pretty much done, except for the detail work. So definitely, I think, an improvement overall. Um, today, I've got about an hour before I got a call I have to get on to, but still have to do that part right up in there. And then that other handrail up there, I haven't really started yet. So that is where we're at right now. I'm pretty pleased with it. I think it looks really good, especially here in the, the natural light. I think it's going to make a big difference. Uh, hopefully, again, take us to a new level where we can find a decent renter that will take care of the place and love the place as much as we do there's victor's uh work tools there so anyway victor's been working upstairs on some stuff but things are moving ahead it's going to take a little bit longer than i originally thought but that's okay i think it's going to be a really good house for someone uh so i'm very excited about it but anyway i gotta get back to work i just wanted to share that with you really quick all right guys well she's turning out pretty good i think overall uh, I even got that top part there. It's kind of hard to see, but I started pretty, pretty much got that finished at the first step. Now I think it's really going to just look for a, uh, the next step is to find a Dremel tool or something that I can get in these grooves with and knock those out fairly quickly. And then I think we'll be able to, oh, I see, I'm just looking here. I missed here a little bit. So I'll have to work on that yet too, but just some, some more detail work here, I think, before we stain it and then paint everything else up. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think it looks a ton better. Let me know in the comments what you think. I think it's going to make a ton of difference in the looks of this house. So, all right, on to the next. Well, folks, so much for dumpster diving today. You know which end of that shovel to use? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yuck, who ordered this crap? Well, y'all, it may be snowing outside and we can't go dumpster diving, but check out this breakfast my beautiful bride made for me. Yeah, that's all right. Jealous much? guys Dallas lost good game but uh, season's over for the Cowboys so anyway on to the next always next year well good morning Shaniac it is Sunday morning and I need to run over to Menards because I'm looking for a contour scraper so I can finish up the stair railing but first as trying to clean out the car I wanted to show you just how deep the snow was we're supposed to get one to three inches, and usually that means we won't get anything. <laughs> this time I think they underestimated. So, quite a bit of snow right there. Yeah, so, yay me, I gotta try and clean off the van. All right guys, quick update. I went to Menards and they had this 15% off if you fit it in the bag. Luckily I found, luckily I found the 15% off bag when I was checking out. I ended up buying this uh, tool shop, kind of a generic Dremel, but it's got all these tools that come with it. Um, it was $19.99 and with that it was $3 off, so I got it for what, $16, $17, $16.99, whatever. Anyway, I uh, went down to the house and 
there was a guy um, in a pickup truck and a plow. Uh, you know, the neighbor, the neighbor, neighboring facility there has a parking lot. He was pushing the snow out of that parking lot and actually pushing some of it onto my property, which I was like, I could get out. I could tell him to stop doing that. But, you know, it doesn't really, really matter. I mean, he's putting it on the grass. It's going to be melted here in a month. You know, it doesn't really matter. But um, I tried pulling in and my wheels started spinning. So I am not going to get into the property today. So unfortunately, this video will have to wait for another day to get finished up. I was hoping to get it done and have something out here Sunday. Not going to be the case. Um, so yeah, but I got this tool. It's got uh, some of these sanding, sanding discs in it that hopefully I can get into the grooves with or some of these other tools to get into the grooves with. But yeah, moving on, uh, we're gonna go down there and try tomorrow. But... All right, guys, welcome back to the show. I went to Menards. I bought this uh, Roto Ridge zip tool. It's a generic one. It was 20 bucks. They had $15 off if it fits in a bag, or 15, I wish, 15% <laughs> off if you put it in a bag. So I just put the uh, accessory on. Uh, which is the wire brush head and we are going to go ahead and see if this works on that hand railing to get in that groove i don't think it's going to work very long uh, but i'm going to give it a try hopefully i will be naturally surprised and then if that doesn't work we're going to put on some of these sanding discs they're real narrow and hopefully that'll go in those grooves but for now let's give this a try getting hit in the face it actually does a really nice job we'll do some more of it here and I'll, I'll give you a close-up but I'm pretty I'm pretty stoked that's pretty good all right guys this is the groove I just got done working with that uh, wire stripper or wire head. This is what they look like before. They're kind of full of crud. See that? So, yeah. So they kind of look like this when I started. That's a better example. Let me back up so I can get a, get a focus in. But yeah, so it was kind of full of this crud there when I first started. But uh, not too bad. It's going to look good as soon as I get this the surface sanded down too is going to help. Still got some blue right up on the top edge there, but all in all, I think that's going to work pretty well to get that detail back in there, which is much better. It really looks a lot more, more depth there. So pretty happy with that. I wanted to show you this. <laughs> that's doing about one groove, half of the railing. Look how rough that is already. So, but it works, which is the main thing, which I'm pretty stoked about. All right, next up we have the sanding head or the flat or the cutting disc. These tend to be really, really brittle from my past experience, but I think they could go in there pretty good. So we're gonna see how they do. Let's take a look. Wow, I'm impressed. Oh. Well, I figured. Round two. Well guys, welcome back to the house. 
for the upstairs bedroom. And the guy that's doing some work for me called me and texted me last night and says, Shane, you have a hole. Now this is inside a closet. And we've had some water issues that we're going to repair the roof. And we're going to uh, replace this. But he brought me in and he said, hey man, check this out. So from what I can tell, the chimney has uh, is still in there. It's a, it's a metal pipe. And uh, I'm sure the, the chimney itself is, is housing the metal pipe. So I don't know if this brick needs to be replaced. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what you do with it in a situation like that. So kind of a mess right now. So I went to Harbor Freight today and I bought these diamond rotary point sets. Uh, there you got some heads. These heads right here, there were six of them. They fit really good into the grooves right over here. And so I was able to go in there and really clean those up really nice. So let me get a wider shot here so you can see what she looks like today. Uh, I am almost ready to stain. I still have some work to do at the upper level there, right up there. Uh, I ran out of sanding discs that I was using on my Dremel tool. But all in all, I would say this thing is about 90% ready to be stained. Then I'm going to paint the post semi-gloss white with the same, same color as the cabinets. Then I'm going to keep everything else gray in between. And I think that's going to look really, really sharp. But, uh, you know, tell me in the comments, what do you think? Well, guys, it has been about six days since I got a video out. I made one in between this one and my last one, and I didn't like it, so I didn't publish it. Yeah, that's how I felt about it. <laughs> anyway, guys, I need to get home. I need to get a shower, get cleaned up. Uh, I'm out of sanding discs, but otherwise I would finish up this, this railing. But I really like how it's turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments. In the meantime, guys, take care of yourselves, and guess what? Hopefully we will see you at the next dumpster very soon, because I gotta get some picking done. It is driving me crazy. Later, everybody.